Hi guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're fine. In today's video, I want to show you how you can package your Premiere Pro project so that you can transfer it to another machine and maybe continue working there. Now, this is... I know those of you who are conversant with Premiere Pro understand how the software works. This is your raw data. This is the sequence of the final, let me call it clips, the final details of your video. This is where you monitor your final video. And this is your source where you pick parts of the clips and everything else that you're using on your video. Now, assuming I want to pick my sequence the way it is with the data and everything that I've used so that I can go and continue working on it in a different machine somewhere else and I don't want to carry my machine along or I was exporting my video and suddenly my machine decided to hang or it takes long and I want to transfer it to a different machine that can work faster and help me beat the upload deadline. I, you can package that content, you can package your data, your sequence, your preview files, your titles, the transitions that you have on your videos, everything into an external disk and then share it with a different machine and be able to work from there. Now, let me show you how you can do that. So you go to file all the way down to project manager. And once you click on the project manager, this interface comes up. This is basically where you define what you want to package and even where you'll package it to. If you look at the sequence, my sequence is named Kine Master this one here so it picks up the sequence that you're working on and when it ticks that it means it's picking the whole sequence the whole package with what it has now that you can change you can work around with these options collect files and copy to new location you check that button or something that circle and exclude unused clips you can choose to exclude so that it doesn't carry along some raw data that you haven't used on your clip and you're not planning to but if you feel that at some point you might need a clip just uncheck it so that it picks but if you don't want that then check that box so that it excludes those unused clips include audio confirm files of course you need your audio include your preview files of course rename media files to match clip names definitely and the next thing you have to do is your destination part where you want your package to collect itself to so you browse here and from here you can choose where you want to save your files okay let's let's have it on our desktop okay. so i'm having it i'm saving my files on my desktop so that i can easily access it and then select folder anything else that's all so the next thing you have to do is calculate your file size so that you know if i want to transfer it using a flash disk i'll need a disk of this size so that it fits so click on calculate so our file is 969.07 mb that's pretty small a 1 gb flash can easily carry this so once you're done and you're satisfied with everything i don't i wouldn't advise you to touch anything here because honestly i don't know what to do with this one consolidate and transcode i don't know it's unchecked it remains unchecked and once you're done click ok and it's copying Okay, so once it's done, you can minimize this and then go to your desktop. This is what I packaged, the copied computer shortcuts. I don't know why my file, my project is computer shortcuts because this video is about computer shortcuts. But my sequence is Kinemaster. That's a different name for a different video. I don't know, but so long as 
I know what I'm working on, that's okay with me. So this is what I packaged. It has everything. The audio previews, the video, the media cache of the images and the the videos, the images and the audio that I used. It has a circular pattern, everything else that I have included in my sequence, everything that I need, everything that I was working on, it's here. So all I have to do is copy these files into an external disk, transfer it to a different machine, and I can be able to work from there. Something that you need to note is that assuming you want to open these, this computer shortcuts project, it's a, a premier pro version, there's a high chance that it won't open directly unless you go to Premiere Pro and then click file and open or just import what you have. Simply drag into Premiere Pro. Sometimes you try to, sorry I don't want that, sometimes you try to open it from here in that different machine and it can give you challenges because you have to, it has to specifically open with the software. So that is it guys, I hope it makes your work easier. It's easier than having to just pick the raw data the way it is and then start afresh. And having worked on a project like this and starting afresh is really tiresome. So that's that's a hack that can help you with your project. And I hope you've learned something. May God keep you safe. Till next time.